Hi, good afternoon, it's Matt here at uh, Hudson Specialist Cars. I hope you're well, and uh, here is a video of our 2011 uh, Audi RS3 uh, that we have in stock. I'll uh, do my best just to walk you around it and try and demonstrate uh, a few of the highlights. Now, first and foremost, it's finished in phantom black metallic, a fantastic color combination. And uh, well, starting at the front end, these Audi RS3 has got a bespoke front bumper, much more aggressive, larger air intakes down the bottom here. And they've got these lovely uh, DRL uh, LED headlights and with the bi-xenon headlight behind it for the main beam. Kind of got that aluminium trim around the front grille as well as uh, the wing mirror covers. Now these wheels, quite a familiar Audi wheel now, but uh, this is the first car um, to uh, have this design wheel, a lovely five spoke kind of rotary style alloy. And as part of our preparation, uh, we've just had all four ref uh, freshly refurbished. Little side profile here, it does sit really nicely. It's on the sports sus suspension, sort of wider tracked than a standard A3. Um, you've got an aluminium uh, roof rails. Now, if you're wondering what the RSOC, that's RS uh, Owners Club, previous owner, was uh, quite a sort of Audi fanatic. Um, great to buy pe off people like that. And um, around the back here, you've got a little lip spoiler, quite discreet, but uh, a lovely design. What's your factory fit uh, privacy glass? You also got factory optional uh, reversing uh, sensors, twin exit tailpipes, the Lari 3 logo giving it away. Now uh, inside, you know, of course, it's got full black leather. Seats themselves are very supportive. They are uh, a heated seat as well, of course. The Lara 3 logo embossed uh, in the headrest or the backrest even door cards piano black trim we've got the optional bose uh, surround sound system so if you enjoy your music it uh, it really is superb here with the quattro logo of course of course it's quattro uh that 2.5 cylinder uh, five cylinder motor putting the power through all four wheels you've got uh, Audi's navigation plus system. So you've got the radio here. You've got Bluetooth uh, for your telephone. Uh, if you flick to the nav, I've just got to press map. There we go. Below that, we've got dual zone climate control, um, three stage traction control. There's a sport mode as well, which uh, sharpens up throttle response, gear change, and uh, actually opens up a little butterfly valve in the exhaust, which is all exciting stuff. Now uh, in the back. Lovely condition, nice and easy uh, um, access isofix points, but uh, doesn't look like there's any uh, isofix point marks. Doesn't really look like it's been sat in much in the back there. We'll just spin around to the driver's side. It's going to beep at me because I've got the key in. So turn that out. So we've got the uh, flat bottom steering wheel, the contrast uh, silver stitching. Audi RS3 logo here. The steering wheel is a fantastic design. They're still using this sort of style steering wheel in the current models. Um, you've got the little DSG uh, paddle shifters either side, up on the right, down on the left, and also some volume controls as well. Lovely clear dials. And uh, just show you uh, the driver's seat, all in good order. No nasty marks to the driver's seat bolster or anything. Uh, central armrest, believe it or not, that was an option. And the lovely uh, seven speed dual clutch uh, DSG gearbox. You put it in drive, you can put it in sport, and of course you can put it in the manual modes. I'll give you a very brief overview. It's an extremely capable kind of all weather performance car and uh, it was really one of the first of the super, call it hot hatches, 340 horsepower from a 2.5 litre five cylinder turbocharged engine. They do sound absolutely fantastic. Part of our preparation, finally, it's worth noting. Um, we have a full inspection of each and every car. 
Uh, worth noting on this car, we actually fitted a new water pump uh, to this car because uh, it was ever so slightly leaking and uh, very common on these. As I said, we've got matching Eagle F1 tires and the brakes, well, uh, there's actually a receipt uh, for the brakes that were replaced only about 5,000 miles ago. So there's plenty of life left. But there we have it. Any further questions at all, uh, please let us know. I can send over the history and so forth as well. It's uh, been fantastically uh, maintained uh, with Audi and Audi specialists throughout. But thank you again for watching. I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.